So you've also talked about the creativity crisis mm. uh, for children. And when you think about that and this whole arena of zero to three, yeah. uh, how, do you, what do you, how do you put play into that <laughs> creativity crisis? Well, let's try to take the creativity crisis and play and put them together a bit. The creativity crisis is actually a term that Newsweek used several years ago, and it was in response to a wonderful study that was a longitudinal study that was done looking at these creativity scores, which really were divergent thinking mm -hmm. scores, mm -hmm. and they looked at them over time, and they realized that something weird was going on here. As kids were getting older, they were getting less creative. And if you looked over time, you went 10 years ago, and you compared that to 2017, of course the study wasn't done in 2017, but let's just take that window, that hmm, these kids over here were a lot more creative, a lot more divergent thinkers mm -hmm. than the ones over here. Mm -hmm. Now, as a society, I think we are partially to blame because we started to define success for our children as one right answer. We right. wanted our children to fill in the blank. We asked what we call in our field close-ended questions. Mm. What color is that? <laughs> what is two plus two? And we didn't say, well, I wonder if you can put those straws together in a way that will hold a glass of water. That's a challenge. Right. Then in the latter, our children become the scientists testing whether the straw holds the water or it doesn't. Now let's move it down. And let's ask, how could that ever apply to a zero to three-year-old? And I would argue that it does every single day. Mm -hmm. When we have a child who's talking to us and playing a game, even an eight-week-old baby will start to coo, coo. Mm -hmm. And if we go coo, mm -hmm. and they go coo, we're playing a game that's teaching them reciprocity that back and forth that's going to be the serve and return, or what we call the conversational duet. And when we have a child in the bathtub, and that child starts to move his or her hand and splashes, they're scientists trying to figure out what's happening with each drop of water mm -hmm. as it pounds against the, the side of the tub. And again, they're exploring and experimenting while they are just having fun. So if we let them do it a little, and we let them explore, and we take their lead, rather than trying to be the lead, our children will learn more.